Mr. Rubio, thanks for joining us. And let me start with an issue Good that morning. if you were a U.S. Senator today, you'd be voting on tomorrow, and that is this extension of unemployment benefits. Florida, I think, is in the top five of unemployment in the country. How would you vote on this? I would vote for it if it's paid for. You'd have to show how it's going to be paid for, and I think Republicans have been working to do that uh, in Washington, and certainly I would be a part of trying to find that. But uh, the bottom line is the best thing we can do for people that are unemployed is grow the private sector, have economic growth. And that's what we've been campaigning about down here is what can we do to get the private sector excited about the future of America's economy? In just a few moments, I'm going to get the endorsement of NFIB, the voice mm -hmm. of small business in America. They're the first ones that will tell you that the policies coming out of Washington have created uncertainty in the private sector and new jobs aren't being created. So the best thing we can do for the unemployed in the United States and here in Florida is to have private sector job growth and, and that's what we need policies from Washington that will help foster that. So you mentioned that you, you, you want the unemployment extension to be paid for. Would you take that principle to other issues? For example, there's talk, of course, that among Republicans that the Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest of Americans should be extended. But it sounds like there's not necessarily a plan to pay for those. Uh, would you draw the line well, there? Well, let's understand what the bigger picture is, and it's about the debt. And the question is, how are you going to pay that debt off? You're not going to be able to pay that debt off just simply by cutting spending. You're going to have to have some entitlement reform, but you're also going to have to grow your economy. You need growth to pay down this debt, and then the discipline to take the revenues from that growth and dedicate it to debt uh, retirement. And, and the only way you're going to create excitement in the private sector to create economic growth in America is to get the private sector engaged again. I mean, we can't lower interest rates any more than they already are. More government spending doesn't get the private sector excited. It's not me saying this, it's small business people, whether it's NFIB, the U.S. Chamber, the leading businesses in America, they're saying, look, we're sitting on money, we're not investing, we're not hiring, because Washington is coming up with a whole bunch of policies that make us unexcited about America's economic future. So we definitely need growth if we want to pay down the debt, and that's why you need policies like an extension and making permanent the 01, the 01 and 03 tax cuts. Okay, but I'm, I'm confused. Do you want, would you support them if they were not paid for, if they were not they will be balanced out by spending cuts. Well, the question is they will be paid for because they create economic growth, especially in the long term. And that's what you need in order to pay. But not that. immediately. You have I to mean, look at can one you say, say that? Yeah, yeah, one could say that unemployment is stimulus and therefore will help well, I don't people think do better. Well, I not say that with a straight face. 